Are you recording? Yeah. I'm not even ready yet. I'm still having my snack. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Do you want me to turn it off? It's all right. Don't worry. I'll just continue. I'll roll with it. I'll I'll come up with something. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Well, that didn't turn out very appealing, did it? <laughs> but anyway, at least I'm getting my vitamins and minerals, right? It's what's inside that counts. Just like this laptop here. It doesn't look very appealing on the outside, but it's what's inside that counts. This laptop has been my favourite laptop for under $500 for two years now, 2017 and 2018. I cannot find anything else that can beat this. Believe it or not, this thing is a beast. There's something about HP that uh, ever since they joined forces with Microsoft in the last few years, they've made their hardware better, faster, more reliable, and it just works. I don't know what it is. There's, there must be some secret that they have going on that just has that edge over the competition. Getting a laptop with the same specs in a different brand will never be as good. I have no idea why, but the HP just seems to be kicking butt year after year. I'm just going to shut this down for a second. I'm just going to wait for that little light to turn off. Okay, now it's shut down. I'm just going to turn it back on and I want you to witness how quick this thing starts up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seconds. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I mean, I have upgraded this to an SSD drive but it still runs the original i3 processor it still has the original 4 gigs of RAM in it and even with a normal mechanical hard drive this thing was still taking about 20 seconds to load which was still mind-blowingly fast even general everyday usage just seems so much more snappier I can play some games on it not AAA titles but I can play most of the games I can play Minecraft, Roblox, no problem and the battery life is excellent how? I have no idea. This thing is a great purchase. If you want to buy a laptop under $500, do not hesitate to look at this thing. This thing is a beast. Let's take a closer look. Hey, why not subscribe and stay up to date with all my latest episodes? It's free. Typically when I record a video, when I review a laptop, I tend to zoom in a little bit closer on the ports, the keyboard, the texture of the plastic, the top, the bottom. But uh, I've done away with that today because I've actually reviewed this laptop about three months ago. I'm going to link a little info link in the card here and uh, you, you're welcome to have a look at that if you wish to have a closer look at the texture and the buttons and the ports and everything because the laptop is identical. The only difference is just the processor inside. But today, instead, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go a little bit more advanced because last time I missed out on that and I made a little mistake. I told people that there was four screws underneath, but there's actually ten. I'm going to open up the bottom of it so that way I can show you the inside. And if you wish to expand the memory or install an SSD drive and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to pan over to an old video, well not really that old, it's probably about a couple of weeks when I did upgrade the laptop to an SSD and um, I'm going to show you what's inside. So stick around, let's take a look.
There's four hidden screws under the rubber feet of this laptop. You need to peel the rubber foot back a little to expose them. This is the original mechanical hard drive. These are your RAM slots, there's two of them there, DDR4. That's your Wi-Fi chip, also supports dual band, and this is your optical drive. Today we'll be replacing the mechanical hard drive with this ADATA SSD drive. inside the machine just so I can give you the final word before I go on the performance of this machine. This machine is basically a workhorse when it comes to daily tasks but it's not a big triple A title gaming machine. You can play Fortnite if you will but uh, it's only going to play at around 20 frames per second and it's only going to play at 1280 by 720 pixels so it's up to you whether you can put up with something like that but if you're the type that does a lot of Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, you like to watch a lot of HD video content, this laptop will not have a problem at all. Uh, some people have also asked me if you can DJ on this laptop, yep, no problem. The audio driver is actually quite good because it has its own equalizer built in, the driver is from Realtek. The speakers sound really good, full and deep from a laptop. You may want to hook up some extra speakers if you're into DJing but uh, you won't have a problem mixing your tracks. You can also do a little bit of video editing. Um, I use Wondershare Filmora for my video editing and I don't have a problem. As you can see, most of this video, well, all of this video was done within Wondershare Filmora and there's a lot of cutting and pasting and, and fast forward motion and slow downs and things like that and uh, no issue whatsoever. So, yeah, I mean, if you are going to spend under $500 I picked this one up for 4 dollars to be exact. I'm going to throw a little link in the description from the shop I bought it from. The shop is called MSY. You've probably heard of it if you live in Australia. I'm not sure what it's like overseas, but uh, it's yeah, a really, really good laptop. I'm very happy with it, very impressed. Let's see if this will take the crown for 2019. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it if you subscribe, like, or even share this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.